do my job on a literal podium, whether it be a ladder at the basketball stadium or it be like on a podium box. So I know sports well enough to do my job well. I do get into it knowing that the purpose of what pep band is, is to do exactly that, to pep up whatever environment we're in. And the atmosphere in Jersey Mike's Arena is something that people write about. I think they call it the trapezoid of terror. They write about it because it is so loud and the energy is so incredibly high. And that comes from the pep band. What we do is when we see the coach doing this, I have a direct line of sight to him. So I do that to my kids. My pep band students start to roar and we sit amongst the student section and it just trickles out from them. If I can get my students to do it, then it goes onto the student sections and it like bleeds into the whole arena. Uh, for pep band, we, we only rehearse twice in the entire year. We're at the end of the season now. I, I basically, I could step down and the kids would know how to run it. That's how well oil machine it goes after a while. For concert band, it's a little bit different. And I do sort of a, I call it a hourglass thing. We start really, really big concepts just playing through the music. We get really detailed towards the middle of the rehearsal cycle. And then towards the end, we just run the pieces. So it's very different than how I do pep band stuff. And I never realized that being a female college band director, I was such a unicorn. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I, I, and I didn't realize that this was a problem until I got to grad school. And a lot of the students who were undergraduate students in my ensembles that I was a teaching assistant for would come up and say, that's so cool that you're here. I've never had a female conductor before. And I realized that, ah, neither have I. Okay, is this a thing for everyone? Nobody's had a female band director, what's the deal? I've been told before, Julia, you're so successful because you run your shop like a man, which was meant to be a compliment. And even though I didn't have a high school, middle school, college band director that was female or Filipino for that matter, I had my mother. And I saw my mother go through impossible things in her field. I mean, the college business professor world, which is what she teaches. She teaches international business and management like CEO world, there are not five foot something Filipino women running that world. She's a unicorn as well in, in her own field. I think that was my role model that made me know that there aren't impossible things in the path that I've chosen. To see different people of any gender, non-binary gender, any color, any age, as long as they're good at their job, to put them in leadership position, it helps any kind of person that's underneath their leadership. If we just are able to identify people and their superpowers and where to place them and forget about all the other stuff, like that would just be so much easier. Very nice.